New State Mobile is engineered to give you a fascinating futuristic gameplay experience. So, keeping up with cutting edge technology in the game is a must to master your survival. In this episode, we look at the game's exotic range of vehicles and the best ways to put them to work. Like the vehicles on Troy. For example, you can turn off the engine so enemies can't hear you as you approach their territory with stealth. Some vehicles come with autopilot enabled, so you can switch to the passenger seat to spray down your enemies without having to worry about losing speed. Ryan is the only four-wheeler on Troy that runs on gas and replicates the same features of Irangal's UAS. It comes with great horsepower and the same durability as the UAS. However, the top speed of the Ryan is slightly higher and there's absolutely no drawback when it comes to off-road performance. EVAX is not your regular buggy. It is run on electricity and the performance of this two-seater feels upgraded in all ways. The EVAX has a higher top speed and can take more hits compared to a normal buggy. While many players have been grumbling around the stiff handling of traditional buggies, the EVAX is designed to give you the smoothest experience while taking sudden turns when you have enemies on your team. Volta is the electric sedan that replaces the Dacia on Troy. Apart from being slightly slower and more durable than Dacia, there's not much difference between the two. The hood offers maximum protection for the passengers and the quiet engine will definitely help you to cruise through the open fields undetected. Here comes the prestigious supercar of the game. Noa runs on battery and with its lightning fast acceleration, it becomes an unstoppable speedster on the battle rounds. The top speed of this beauty is clocked at 151 km/h, but the handling is equally challenging and you are gonna wreck it if you try to sprint it through off-roads. Apart from being overwhelming in all ways, it has a very less spawn rate. So, if you need this one as your ride, we suggest you land at Exhibit Hall. Lightning is basically an electric sports bike that comes with good acceleration and smooth handling. It's the perfect upgrade from the Irangal's two-wheeler which is better in every way. Furthermore, the engine is much more quieter and doesn't bring much attention to you like the Irangal bike which can alert an entire block. Vulture, on the other hand, is a heavy cruiser bike which is best suited for off-road stunts. It runs on gas and comes with slower acceleration. The handling might feel a bit stiff but it's more reliable when you can't afford to fall out of your seat. Along with all these driving choices in Troy, you can also hop onto those AI operated trams that come with fixed stations across the map. In other words, that's rotations without vehicles made much safer for you. So which one of these takes the favorite spot? Join the conversation in the comments below.